face. I'd like to direct your attention to the five star, 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 one star. In S2384, this fuck lives. Kono fuck yaro. This delivery, then you mom may provide a tad tricky even for an experienced professional, though. The delectable delight in question awaits you at the first prepper's shelter, high atop a snow-capped mountain peak, and must be transported intact thence to my front door. I certainly, sh it certainly shan't be easy, but I have the utmost faith in the man who delivers pizza. Furthermore, as an expression of goodwill, I have unlocked the entrance to my private quarters. You may peruse my secrets to your heart's content. I have the honor to be your obedient servant. Higgs Monahan. What? 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 Ooh. Huh? Da da da! Oh, well, yeah, one star ain't that bad, then. <laughs> one star for Higgs ain't that bad. Fair enough. Who's that Pokemon? What? Da -da -da. Oh, my God. It was God. me, Austin! <laughs> it was me all along! You fuck. Peter Englert, a.k.a. Higgs Monahan. Now, why, for the love of God, was he talking like such a weirdo? Who knows? But clearly, he was up to something. And he really did want that pizza. Did his old man even die? Who knows? Who knew? That was his prepper shelter. Oh, my God. Well, then, shall we? What? I have been thoroughly fucked. Uh. I have been fucked with. I've been fucked with. Real talk. I I don't even know what to say. Yeah. That fucker, made, he ate good pizza too. <laughs> that was, Perico. Yo, that jamon was so fucking expensive. <laughs> he had fucking Gouda. I'm done. Hold that thought. A BB cat Either that or... A sacrifice. A foundation. A bridge. What? Die hard man. Okay, yeah, let's find out. Let's find out. What's up with John? It would have been cool if he pulled like uh a what's in the box moment like uh, oh yeah hey sam one last slice for the road uh -huh. and you turn around like what did you say the what camera the fuck did you say the camera zooms in on the meat oh you oh, didn't oh, know oh your deck scans it <laughs> <laughs> sam that looks like iberico <laughs> isn't that some kind of rare pig fragile says like i have to kill him sam if you kill him he wins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Floss is boss. Floss is boss. Choke him. <laughs> Now's the time. Oh, come on. He's not even important. <laughs> Sam, do you copy? Weird. I've been looking into Clifford Unger and wanted to share my thoughts. Okay. To recap. Unger was a U.S. Special Forces operative whose retirement roughly coincided with the Death Stranding. Mm -hmm. After he left the service, he somehow became involved in the early BB experiments. However, he died before they ended. Now, while the circumstances surrounding his death are not entirely clear, I'm beginning to suspect that these battlefields of his are at least partially sustained by his enduring emotional attachments. Anger, resentment, regret. I'm pretty sure it's got something to do with the BB experiments. That much seems clear given his repeated attempts to steal Lou. Cliff seems to be driven by a compulsion to reclaim our BB. 
as if that will make him whole again. A compulsion so powerful that he was not only able to drag himself from the depths of hell, but bring a piece of that hell along with him. One thing's for sure, he's nothing like a BT. We need to know the whole story about his death and his connection to the BB experiments. I'll keep digging and let you know what I find, Sam. Thanks. If he's the real father, we have a dilemma on our hands. Yeah. I hope you realize this. Are you gonna give it back? Do you have an argument towards why you shouldn't? If he's not alive, that's a pretty good argument. <laughs> I'll be real. But if he's al if he is alive and he's like, why did you steal my son? Yeah. Then you're gotta you gotta. Uh, you know. Speaking of which, did anyone take Higgs baby? No one took his baby. No. Higgs died with a baby attached to him. That is true. What did Fragile do? I really hope Fragile took that baby. Just threw the baby into the tar pit. Because that was a baby sitting on the beach. And we never got to take a look at it. But it was clearly hooked up to an Odra deck. Did we just did we just forget a baby? That's not Lou? Is the is the, is this game may forging a connection with only one baby and then fuck telling all you all other babies fuck the rest fuck the code what's that that's your baby stomp on it <laughs> my baby use my baby's tech to beat your baby up Sam you're not going to believe what I found it's about the BB experiments their true purpose oh. According to official records, they were continued in secret on the order of President Strand. Supposedly with the primary objective of developing BT detectors and preventing void this. outs. Yes. Any advancements that could be applied to the fields of chiral communications and beach research were meant to be of purely secondary benefit. But it turns out, that's just a cover story. The truth is, Sam, BBs were originally conceived as catalysts for the operation of the chiral network. They're integrated into the infrastructure of not cities for that very reason. Every single one you've brought into the fold. There you go. The key. It was probably Amelie herself. The key that they handed you. West with the first expedition, carrying out her mother's grand plan, making sacrifice after sacrifice on the altar of progress. Oh. President Strand told the people what they wanted to hear and did what she thought had to be done. Also, America could be whole again. But I'm starting to wonder if it didn't cost her. America so runs on babies, the Reggie. Network is our greatest creation. Our proudest Duracell, Energizer. I don't know how to feel about it all. Maybe if we knew more about Cliff and the BB experiments, we'd be better placed to judge. I'll be in touch. Good news. Thanks, dead man. The final pizza. Wow. Excuse me. Freshly baked and topped with crypto biotes. What I'm trying to say is that just because you can move far <laughs> and advance really, 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 really cool into the future of laser zip lines. That maybe some sacrifices are not worth it. Fair. Fair enough. Now a jetpack on the other hand. What would you give for a jetpack? You gotta you gotta fuck him. You gotta work. Mm. You gotta talk to me. <laughs> you better fucking talk to me. Convince me otherwise. Cause all these babies can go right in. DualShock battery level low, no problem. Get a fresh baby. Get a fresh baby and plug it into your PS4. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Uh -oh. hey, Sam, that is the worst I place to do that. Up on Lake Nun. Stay strong. We're all rooting for you to finish the job <coughs> and come home safe. By the way, I've made more progress in a certain investigation. It seems that Clifford Unger willingly put his own child in the care of the scientists 
conducting the BB experiment. There it, is, there it is. But he did so completely unaware of their true intentions. There it is. This is pure speculation. But I think when Cliff found out about their plans, he attempted to reclaim custody. And after he failed, the BB remained in the program's care. In which case, he would have every reason to bear a grudge towards the president, the woman who allowed it all to happen, don't you think? It's all her fault. But just because President Strand is dead doesn't mean his hate died with her. Yeah. No, I think he redirected it towards Bridges. Towards you and Amelie and anyone close to the director. Towards America. And now that hate is driving him to set in motion the last stranding. To bring an end to the world as we know it. Why else would Cliff hold Amelie hostage on the beach? He must know that she's an EE. There's no time to lose. You have to save her and the director though i still don't understand how he managed to travel to her beach in the first place there must be more to their relationship i'll see what i can find god damn it <laughs> no 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 fuck you dead man <laughs> don't text and drive Doo -doo -doo -doo. dead man sam keep your eyes on the road oh god like <laughs> What a fucking asshole. Anyway. Give me back my son, or I'll kill everyone. Including my son. Let's chuck the baby Delivering in the tar pit. Cargo. Reggie the negotiator. Delivery complete. Displaying performance evaluation. No one can says I didn't do my job. See that? Do we get the stars now? Kojima wouldn't be that mean. He wouldn't ruin the OCD that people would have for completion. He wouldn't dare. He wouldn't dare. Oof. He wouldn't dare. I hear something. Oh, two. Well, how about that? <laughs> you son of a what? Oh, 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 shit. oh, oh, shit. oh, the mind game. oh, the mind oh, hold up. oh, 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 yeah, let's go. Hey, assault rifle. They are finally. And what else do we? Get? All these murder weapons I'm never gonna use on human beings. Non-lethal. Look at that. Hey Reggie, count them. I count one, two, three, four, five stars, Willie. Big five. You made it. The five extinctions. <gasps> oh, making links. Even the villain got to level ten with me. How about that? S link complete. Perhaps everyone can be saved. Everyone cannot be saved. Shit. But as long as they like me before they die, I can live with it. <sighs> Give me that star. Uh. I beat your ass, and you still love me. To join Mike Tyson? I'll beat you till you love me, bear. <laughs> bring him online. I don't, I don't know why you'd still be bringing him online, to be perfectly honest. Why would you still care about doing this? But won't the data there be available to everyone in the UCA? It sure will. Oh. Expanding the network at this point is just a fucking force of habit. I don't even, you know, but hey, at least we completed it. And yes, maybe there's something, maybe there's something that Higgs would like the rest of the class to, to see. You know, maybe we can share with the rest of the class. And then Deadman is like, yo, yo, Sam, 
There's a fucking sex tape, bro. There's <laughs> Emily and Higgs going at it. What? What? <laughs> they were trying what? to hide it. Oh! <laughs> they were together. Oh, God. Chiral printer is now operational. Good work. Fucking Higgs getting pegged. Hey, man. Give me power, Emily. I don't see why you're... I'm, I'm not judging. Dooms can yo dooms people can dooms up however they want to dooms <laughs> more power more dooms <gasps> Yo, that never <laughs> happens usually. No, this does not happen You don't drop your shit. Let me give, give me my shit. <laughs> don't let her doors open. Oh my god Did you know that dooms is inside the sphincter? <laughs> No peeing. Did I just piss myself? <gasps> There's a time for everything. This ain't it. Just getting in someone's house trying to... What is... This is the inside of a prepper shelter. What is... It's just... Everything. Higgs was here. All right, what's his what's his deal? Fuck. What's his deal? Let's take a look. The man likes pizza. Fuck, Fuck Sam. Sam. The hell with you. Game over, Sam. No continues for you. No continues for you. The world is calling for deliveries, but I need more power. I am the particle of God. Egyptian hieroglyphics. Amelie. Hieroglyphics. Oh, Amelie, the one true savior. Uh -huh. Oh my god, what? ASAP. It all leads back to Sam. Uh... Okay, so... It's always sunny in Philadelphia. The ha and the ka. No, no, two. ASAP, Jesus Christ, there's pictures of you too. Of course. Is that a... Neanderthal skull? You can create a sign. Where? By pressing triangle. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's no, no, just that's that's just first person view. Okay. Uh what does that say? Found? No, no, no. Found. Yeah, he's just tracing me. He's just tracking me across the entire wow. map. What's that on the top? The world is calling for deliveries, but I need more power still. Okay. All right, Virgil. And then Canada. Wait, wait, wait. There's a map there on the left. Left. Yes, on this wall. It says Canada, loser. Oh. Yeah, the Nevada. strings are America. Yeah. Don't worry about Canada. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry about Canada. It's right up there. Yeah. Um... And those are the Great Lakes. Idaho, Montana, wait, Colorado, Kansas, Oklahoma, New Mexico, actual Mexico. So it's just, there's another map of the states underneath here. Yeah. All right. Up close. I mean, the man can teleport, so no wonder he can take good pictures, right? What does that say? I'm bored. Me, I'm bored. All of it, this world, that world. Sweet little angel of death. Jesus. Angel of it's covered up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Damn. Hot deliveries. <laughs> I'm bound to all of it. This world, that world, and our sweet little angel of death. Hey, call bridges it. can't make bridges. Who needs bridges? Cold pizza is for the dogs. Hot pizza for something. 
forever. Oh, I see. Cold pizza is for the dogs. This guy's a loser. He sounds like it. Higgs is a loser. He's kind of a wanker. And, 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 and... If you gotta write it on the walls to make it mean more, then you're just fucking level one generic crazy. Ooh. Anything on the floor below? I watched a lot of movies. <laughs> That's what the crazy people do in the movies, right? They write on the walls. There we go. Memory chip. This guy freaking writing novels of emails. And this is how we lived. What is this? Not Minecraft. Please not. Am I reading this wrong? Please. Please. Maria King's The Shell. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's a... Oh, Close God. call. Close oh. call, Reggie. <laughs> okay, I feel much better now. God, this is a terrible episode. <laughs> Holy fuck. This <laughs> is getting cancelled right now. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fucking oh, guy. Man. Is that a copy of Death Note? <laughs> what is that? GG Sudden. Alright. Okay. Well, I guess we've been around. It's a little bed there. More books on the shelf. Well, here's what I can tell you about experiencing the inside of a prepper shelter for once. Uh, this is not sufficient for married life. Yep, I would lose my mind too. Right? Yeah. Following episode of Death Stranding is basically going to be an audiobook. So we're reading through the files. Ashes to ashes, as they say. I was fucking sitting here ready to call this son of a bitch out on using Bridgmanite yeah. as a material, as a mineral in his video game right with bridges and mans and chiral crystals and chirillium and such there you go however silicate perovskite is the magnesian end member called bridgmanite which is actually something found in the lower part of the earth's mantle and it is in fact a real mineral so science wins today. You get off this time, Just Hideo. This time. She's given me everything I ever wanted, ever needed. And now I'm free to f cut Fragile loose. Higgs got everything from Emily. Okay. They do it together. You know, when we warped in and she was like, what are you doing here? And it was a weird moment. Yeah. Where when she wasn't seeing you type of yeah, thing. Yeah, where it was, they, were, they were just talking. Right? Or something was happening, and she was like, what? What's yeah. going on? And you're like, these they were having a normal-ass conversation. Right? Something was going on there. So, like, uh, it's just the weird part about this is her existence being that big of a deal in this way. And your mom and her role and her pointing out the nature of BB being special in that moment. Yeah. Like that that I'm um, you know what I mean? It's like it, it just is it just random happenstance luck that her daughter turned out to be this. That's hilarious. He literally goes, "Oh man, I wrote on the description of the package that it was a bomb." Yeah. I shouldn't have done that. But I love being smug. Oh yeah. <laughs> Give me a lick. Ugh, it's all gone sideways. And there's something else out there. Something all kinds of fucked up. Don't need BB to tell me that. Oh. Oh, he didn't... He wasn't in control. He didn't... He didn't know shit about... About, uh... Uh... uh Cliff. Yeah? This was your life, Higgs. Your tale. Told by an idiot. Full of sound and righteous fury. Signifying nothing. Remember when I said he wasn't edgy? Yo, he's third person talking to I take self. it back. That's enough edge for you, is it? When I when I said he wasn't edgy when I called it smug earlier, I take yeah. it back. This man is How full about that? is full of edge. Ha! Spikier than fragile. He's a devotee to the end. Yes. Dedicated to his cause and saying let's jumpstart the extinction. And he is bending the knee, so to speak, to fr to to Emily. Yes. And he is at her beck and call and does whatever she wants, but also he, she's doing things that he doesn't want her to do. Yeah. 
He's not fully on board with everything, it seems. So there's a conflict there, but she kind of is aware of him and is okay, or was okay with his things, but she wasn't telling everything. So we don't know her full deal, but I was already on the fuck Amelie train. Now we need to get on board the Amelie fuck the fuck Amelie spaceship. <laughs> oh damn. Whoa. Soul NATOs. Damn. Hey mules, do you still give a fuck about what I'm carrying on me? When actual death awaits? What is wrong with you? Go home. Why would they give a fuck? God, they're so broken. They're so broken that you look up and you see that. But packages, though. Got a moment, Sam? It's about the director. So there's no way he could have made the jump to Amelie's Beach if they didn't share a strong personal connection, right? Yeah. Well, I looked, and I couldn't see one. The network should have contained something, anything, but there was nothing whatsoever. His entire life prior to his tenure with Bridges has been redacted. His name, his past, everything. There's no telling who he was. Which led me to consider another possibility. What if it isn't the director and Amelie who have a connection, but the director and Clifford Unger? And what if that connection is what facilitated the director's jump to Amelie's beach? If it's those two who have a personal history, then it might explain why Cliff is holding the director hostage as well. But even if that were the case, we saw the flashback it answer the with Luke. Question. How the hell did the two of them end up on Amelie's beach? Sam Hartman here. There's something. Four point five Hartman here. A guess, albeit an educated one, concerning Cliff's objective. Somehow, with the aid of the chiral network. Our individual beaches have begun to coalesce, resulting in the formation of a single massive seam. Should this process continue, there is a risk that BTs will flood across into our world, bringing about a death stranding on a heretofore unprecedented scale. Nice. Now, Clifford Unger's battlefields and my own beach appear to be unaffected by this phenomenon, existing entirely in isolation. They do not and have never intersected with others. But what if there were another class of beach? One that exists on a higher plane that was responsible for setting this process in motion. And what if the beach in question were none other than Armelies? Cliff may have summoned the director, but I believe his true aim was to seize control of Armelies beach. To exploit its power over every other beach and trigger the last stranding. It's the only rational explanation for Cliff's actions. Which is why you have to stop him. If Hartman's right, then we're in serious trouble. Using the chiral network in Amelie's beach to trigger the last stranding? That's why Higgs went after Amelie, wasn't it? If it was Cliff who put him up to it. Yeah, it all fits. With the last stranding, He'll finally have his revenge against the world that stole his life and his child. You've got to stop him, Sam. You've got to make the jump to Amelie's beach as soon as possible. Get in and get her back. It's our only hope. If you can't, then we're all doomed. A higher class of beach where only the resort people are allowed to go. You locals, stay out. <laughs> um, I wonder what the exact number of friendship is for when a, you can get to someone's beach. Like, how nice do you have to be to someone? Is it the third date? <laughs> is it is it like um, as of the third date? You're like, oh, now I can reach your beach. How do we quantify that? Jesus Christ. Fuck. It'll never not be weird. It'll never not be weird. Like, if you know, you can tell when you don't have a shot. 
with a lady friend if you can't reach your beach. <laughs> Okay, so the flashbacks were when he was alive. And he has very good reason to be fucking pissed. He has super good reasons to be fucking pissed at all of these fucking assholes. <laughs> Burn all the bridges. Burn them. Burn oh, them. Man. He's super righteous in his fury. The problem is that his fury might result in the death of everything, including his own baby, which is not the most, you know, it's not the most rational stance to take on the course of events, you know, ending everything, including the, um, your baby's life. Yeah. But he has righteous fury on his side. So all the crabs are falling back on the ground while oh, that weird creepy baby again. Such a lust for revenge. Ooh! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Dude, I'm with you. I'm with you. Like, if it were up to me, I would step aside. I really would. But the baby, though. But you can deal with them all you want. Do them like fucking Ravenga. <sighs> and he's grabbing all the dolls he can as replacements for his baby. Oh, man. Are you ready to fight Activision circa 2005? <laughs> Cod blops, man. Battlefield, man. Ooh. Another war? Ooh. What is this? Is this Nam? Oh, it might be. It might be. So we got your weapons. Jeez. 
Jesus Christ. <laughs> Not scary at all. Eat up. Oh, he's hungry. Creepy eyes. Do you have any fears of dolls? No. No? Do you? No, but only these creepy eyes. The ones that flip when you, like, take them from, like, laying down and you put them straight up and they open their eyes. Yeah. It's fucking creepy. I don't have very many super irrational fears of, like, horror tropes. Okay, yeah. I, 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 I fear things that are more unexplainable and unknowable in a weird way. Like, I always... Light it up. Power to the earth. <laughs> um, like that Junji Ito shit we talked about yeah. before. You know, that stuff is what scares me. Not, not you know, goopy hands, <laughs> crawling TV girls, transparent people and babies, dolls, you know. Ah. Uh, God damn, dude. The boys. Oh, oh, okay. We them boys. We them boys with a righteous fury. He's so right. He's so correct. Jesus. Through the fire and the flames. His will carries on. We're just gonna give him the baby. This gun is great. Where to? Where the order deck tells me to. Right there. Did it hurt you? I hope not. No. Yeah. One more. Sorry, Cliff. Really? I'm really not happy about this. <gasps> you have to understand. It's 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 the way it's gotta be, but I wish you know It's Hideo's fault. You want it one way, but it's the other way. <gasps> Not yet. That's the man. That theme is so fucking good. Oh, <gasps> yo! <laughs> Tanking rockets. Gotta give him props. Yeah, you like that? Do you need reinforcements? Gucci. Gucci gang. Meanwhile, the baby is blue. It's okay. It's okay. There we go. Yes, post 
boss fight Metal Gear conversation. Fucking rules. They told me your name was Sam Porter. When you were Sam Bridges. My bridge to the future. to the future. Come on, Sam. Stand up. Say bridge one more time. Yes. My two weird dads <laughs> with Mads Mickelson and Norman Reedus. I don't watch it. On AMC. <laughs> I would so watch it. Oh, man. Uh. <laughs> I'll kiss. Oh, good enough. At least this time. They had the decency to take my hat off. <laughs> okay. Fuck me. How about that? Fuck <laughs> me. He tried. Oh. The country. It's the freaking country that made him do it. By the country, do you mean mom? You mean mom? 
Well, the government represents the people. So mom did it. The country did it. The people did it. Die good man. Oh, good hard man. Oh god, he tried. He tried. He tried. Oh, that sucks. Fucking mom sucks. Mo it's mom. Yep. Can't what a it. shit. God, I'm never recycling again. <laughs> See her stupid face? Oh, no. I wish I could fucking dump her in the incinerator twice. <laughs> where that, is she? That, that, that's where you get, not, not the NBA Jam, but the Hang Time dunks. You ever play Hang Time? Hang Time is the one where you get to the net and you're holding turbo. I jump to go dunk it, and then you can jump up higher than me, and I can pass the ball to you in midair and alley-oop to a dunk. Fuck mom! John was okay. John Goodman. <laughs> Sam, uh, are you okay? What's up with BB? Drugs. It looks like you were caught in a supercell and emerged an instant later on the other side of Ground Zero. Not far from Port Nord City. How'd I wind up here then? Remember Victor? He found you lying unconscious by the harbor and brought you inside. I think Cliff might be Lou's father. He said, give me back my BB. Impossible. Cliff was born. He gave me this. Maybe he's trying to tell us something. Something about the BBs, maybe. About how they were made. It didn't feel like he was trying to hurt us. It felt like... Like he just wanted to talk. With so guns. Saw him holding the director captive on the beach. Yeah. They must have some history we don't know about. Them and Bridget. Funny you should say that. I've got something you should see. Found it in the archives while I was digging around. It's a pre-recorded message from the director labeled, If I Don't Come Back. This message is insurance, in case something happens to me. For Bridget's eyes only. And I sure as hell hope that's who's watching. I got a little present from Amelie. Said she'd take me to the beach if I wanted. But I'd need this doll to show me the way. It's a trap. It has to be. But I've decided to play along. You've all been playing along too, haven't you? You know this mask hides more than just my face. Well, Emily's a blank slate too. No past. No record she ever existed. She's a ghost. And the thing about ghosts... I never met Emily in person. Have you? Ever seen her in the flesh, shook her hand, touched her? The original team we sent was divided into two groups. Emily was with the first. Mama and Hartman were with the second. They had no direct contact with her. Yes. Amelie's group was wiped out in Edge North City. Everyone but her. Everyone who could say whether or not she exists. Bullshit. She's real. We touched, all right? She and I both. Well, I've only ever interacted with her hologram. I'm telling you. I've met her. In person. Lots of times when I was little. Yes. 
but on the beach. Here's what the president had to say about her daughter. Emily was born on the beach. There her ka remained, though her ha came to this world. This division of body and soul forced her to spend most of her childhood in the hospital. But though her health was poor, her doom's numbers were off the charts. Her supernatural talents blossomed as she grew older and overcame her limitations. But by the time she was 20, she could travel to and from the beach, body and all. And that's where she started spending all of her time. <coughs> now, if you wanted to get in touch with Emily, it was by a hologram or nothing. The president insisted on that. I swore an oath to the president and to America. As far as I was concerned, her word was law. So when she said Emily was her daughter and the best candidate to succeed her, I believed it. But when the archives were restored, I couldn't resist testing out my access privileges. And that's how I found out. Bridget was diagnosed with uterine cancer in her 20s and couldn't have children. You see, it doesn't add up, does it? Hmm. There's no way Emily could be Bridget's biological daughter. So where'd she come from? Who the fuck am I? Who is she? Is she even real? How can we be sure that Emily is an extinction entity when we don't even know if Emily is Emily? Hell, for all I know, the EE -E theory might be bullshit. But if it's not, if she's the cause of the Death Stranding, then I have to accept her invitation. I've loaded my gun with hermetic rounds. Sam's blood. It connects my gun to her, to me, to him, all of us. Which means I should be able to take it with me to the beach. I'm going to stop what she started by stopping her. One last confession. I'm just a man. No powers, nothing special. Don't have dooms, I can't repatriate like Sam either. Don't know the first thing about dying, I had never tried it. Yeah. I've been to hell. Every single battlefield was hell. But no matter how terrible it got, I never died. Because all I ever did was run from death. Well, I gotta go. She's calling for me. Bridges, don't let me down. I can't believe he's black. That was the most surprising thing about this whole conversation <laughs> to me, personally. This, the director jumped to the beach. Never I saw it coming. Holy shit. He summoned him there. He had a gun to Bridget when I saw him. Then Cliff showed up, took him away. I thought he went to the beach to confront Amelie. Yeah, she was there too. She was the one who got me out. Huh. It's so obvious to me now. I can't believe I didn't see it sooner. It was Amelie who... Uh-oh. What happened? The chiral network dropped out. According to Lakna, it won't be long before it's completely unusable. So is she I'll just Ray Ayanami? Let me finish what I was saying, sir. I'll tell him. Fraja, you look like shit. You should be resting. I know. I'm basically getting Ray Ayanami vibes. I had a little chat with Higgs back on the beach. Didn't take much to make him talk. You say why he betrayed you? He said it was part of her plan. What? She was their leader. The terrorist voidouts, 
the whole extinction agenda, Amelie was behind it all. Like hell she was. I know you don't want to believe it, but it lines up with what Die Hard Man said. Higgs turned on me after he met Amelie. At first, he was looking to expand his territory, and I had a power he could use. At least, that's how he ended up working with me. He was no terrorist. He just wanted to reach more people. But then she shows up with abilities that put mine to shame. Hell, she could even control BTs. So Higgs decides to go with her. And that's when she turned him into her agent of extinction. She, she, gave, she gives it. Yeah, she gives it out. Yep. She hands out dooms. Homo demons. What about Bridget? You gonna tell me what she was doing on the beach? You got an answer for that too? I know it's a lot to swallow. But he said himself that Amelie is an extinction entity. I looked inside his pod. And there was no BB in there. Take a good look at what was. Mm -hmm. It's the same doll Die Hard Man had. This is their bridge baby. There's this idea that the terrorists brought back BB Tech and Bridges was just following suit. It's garbage. Their methods and yours are completely different. Your BB links you to the world of the dead. Their doll links them to Amelie and her beach. You know who else had dolls like this? Cliff. He was carrying them on the battlefields. So it acts as a connection Cliff, Higgs, in place of an actual BB. All three of them were drawn in and controlled by this extinction entity. Any, any and object. Who is this EE -E really? Is it rigid? That you have that connection with. Yeah. Yeah, that's well, what I it is. She says that the answers are on the beach. What she wants and why. Interesting. If we get to the bottom of that, then maybe we can still avert the last stranding. You've got to find her, Sam. Whoever she really is. <sighs> She's waiting for you on the beach. Hurry back east. And now we go take our seat <laughs> and go up to and uh, yeah our usual shenanigans okay princess beach more like princess cunt <laughs> oh oh, oh. <laughs> okay <laughs> that took a while to <laughs> oh my god <laughs> all right bottoms up Oh my god. Wait. No, wait. Hold on. Wait. Wait. Do you see what this is? Yes. And do you see who's sending it? Yes. I'm going to get her back. He hasn't given up. I'm going to need it. Oh my god. He's running down BT oh. Street. He's running down. He's. <laughs> Oh, he's fucking he's going to hit the he's going to hit the wall. He's going to go down the mountainside and make a right on MLK. And you don't make a right on MLK, bro. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Remember the junk dealer? We found him dead in front of our shelter. I, I mean, basically. Did you come and bring him for to a tar pit for I, us? I, I, at this point, <laughs> if I'm to continue uh, enjoying everything the chiral artist's shelter has oh, to offer. Today would be a very special day if your mommy had not You're not born yet. But the more candles, the merrier, right? So imagine if you had your time for you to come out into the real your pregnant baby in a glass case womb that you could talk to. And then an imprint. We can have a real party. Think about that. Isn't that crazy? That is crazy. Like you can see the baby, not just feel it in the womb, but you can literally look at it and be like, hey, what's up? And its eyes are open. Ooh. Oh, heavy rain. Look at it in all its splendor. Beautiful, beautiful. There's a cool infographic that showed uh, 
the other northern lights on different planets. We've been getting near constant timefall in this region for a while now. As a result, everything you've built for us out here has been <laughs> The good news is, we managed to recover all cargo stored on site and transferred it to the capital Not City Distro Center. As for the not so good news, the cargo printers are currently unusable due to the network instability. Given the circumstances, you might want to consider turning to your fellow porters for assistance. But I'll leave that up to you, Sam. I'm sure you'll come through for us. All right, so in other words, one last delivery, the old-fashioned way. So, so you remember. The old-fashioned way. Where you came from, Jenny. Um, okay. Oh, man. Yeah, this is different weather from anything we've had before. And I'm this actually is not, worried. Yeah, it's not even like... It's foggy, but it's like... Not just foggy. Oh, we have time to stop and shoot stuff? Motherfuckers. Not dying in one? Dirtier? Yeah, they are, aren't they? They were dying in one hit before, weren't they? Unless it's your weapon? I don't know if we were using a different one before. Oh, they're splitting into two. Oh, great. There you go. There, there we got big boys now. We got big boys. All right, you think we should just fucking get that? Right, just, just blitz? Yeah, okay. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, 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 okay. That works, that works. And if you get surrounded, then... Ugh. All right, let's spend some battery juice. All right, it seems to be working. Okay. No real BTs. We Gucci. Okay, okay. They weren't that mean. If the game was mean, it would put ghosts in the midst of that, yeah, minefield. To slow you down. But it's not that mean. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's way less scary than I thought. Do you, uh... Do, we, do you think we should check the the package and see if it's like worn out or whatever? I'll, once I'm past this part. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh what? Okay. Oh no. Yeah. Like. It it's it has grenade launcher functions on on the bottom of it, right? That's what we saw. Yeah, I just don't know how to turn them on. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. Down on the D pad. Got it. Activate attachment. All right. Wow. That bridge, uh, suffering. Yeah, it's not great. But, I, but... What happens if you're not on the internet playing this? Right? How do you do this mission... Offline? That's a really, really... That's a really important factor... To surviving here, is the, the network. Holy shit! This must be insane! <laughs> Literally doesn't matter. So we're just gonna chill here? D oh god damn it, he got away. Son of a bitch! <laughs> uh, if only he wasn't five yards and a couple hop skips and jumps in front of me. Oh gosh darn it. Yay! He can't walk any further because of the bounding box. <laughs> Video games. <laughs> That's it. It was, it was it was fine. It was fine. Yeah. So we might be uh, we might have to just like abandon the bike in a half second right now. Because this was another. 
you know. Crenshaw and MLK. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 okay, oh, get oh, off oh. Your bike. Yeah, we're done. But wait, did it Oh, say the lion? Oh, the fucking lion is is not as easy to run away from. Oh shit! Oh, what? 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 Nope. Nope. Oh my god. What the f Holy shit! No, 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 no. Why? Oh, the lasers, dude. The lasers. The lasers are gonna get really bad in a half second. What did we do to deserve this? This is insane. This is fucked. Holy shit. Okay. Put the gun away. Put the gun away. I, I got a brace. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. Oh, come on. Oh shit. Don't look at me. Amelie, I fucking hate you. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Use his legs. Shift weight right. Oh. We live in. Okay. We live in. Oh. Okay. How about them batteries? Bad. Holy that thing shit. is dead. Oh. Wait. Please. It's dead. It's dead. Oh my god. Well, that was like totally not scary at all. <laughs> or not. <laughs> Where the fuck was my jump, bro? Oh, because I'm bracing. What's going on? What's going on? What was that? I don't know. Why is it vibrating everywhere? Oh, god damn it. Why? Uh, Why? Uh, oh. F Thar she blows. Fuck. What? The remember when we were crossing the first ocean? Yeah. The fucking whales, dude. Yo, that's like the thing Hulk punched. Jesus. <gasps> no running. Defeat the BT. Okay. Uh, anything stronger? <laughs> Can we get, like, big firepower somehow? Explosives. West Coast shit. Just don't come towards me. Uh, yeah, about that. That's gonna take a lot of bullets. Yeah, like, we don't have, like, rockets? Uh, I, I didn't, I didn't. I didn't, I, I couldn't build any. Oh, no. Yeah, we couldn't build any. What about any. secondary shots? Uh, that's what I, I was shooting grenades. Oh, no. You saw me shooting grenades just now? I thought it was bullets. It was a ta -ta 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 -ta. No, 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 the arc. The arc. Okay, yeah. This, when I was doing this. I would do hematic grenade into shooting, maybe. If it stays... Does I mean, the cloud he, follow them when he, they move? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. He's he's it's it's a tough it's tough to say. Let's we can. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh no. That's a hematic toss. Reach. That's a terrible idea, dude. Reach. You're killing me. <laughs> Yes. Reload. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Turn. One more, another. That's the shot.
right in the tail. Oh, sh Ooh. here comes the money. Money talks. Money, 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 money. Oh. Dollar, 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 dollar. Woo. Darshi blows. And by that, I mean Amelia. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I thought it was all over. It's because of that point five. It's because of that point five. Everybody's here. Sam. Yo. Don't Your touch me. Fuck. I thought you knew. Been one hell of a what is this? Especially Amateur hour? <laughs> But now the whole team is Open mic night? What are we doing? The Trying to touch team. me. Die hard men too. He chappelled her. <laughs> <laughs> Just get out of my face. Be gone. Traveling to and from beaches in such a short span. Chiral matter contaminated her cells, effectively causing jet lag on a molecular level. Because of that, her homeostatic mechanisms were shaken. Don't worry. She's not in any danger, but she needs some rest. Hey Sam, remember when you ditched best girl so for a piece of shit? Can't. I do. A literal turd in a red dress? Bridges personnel found him lying outside the isolation ward. Similar to when you came back from Cliff's Beach. <sighs> Even after decontamination, she needed more and more time to recover. Okay. Scooby snacks. Made it. <laughs> Hungry. She's gonna float off of the bed. Thanks. Looks like you need me after all. Who'd have thought? Are we setting up a third time for her to say the line? Anyway, clock's ticking. Am I right? Do you need a hand there, Fragile? Sam's here. Are you okay? The Wink to the deliver. camera. The only one who can reach Emily's beach. Uh, you're in no condition. Oh, here we go. It's not fair to you or Sam. Uh, um, in oh, maybe my not. Okay. For Amelie's beach. <laughs> I have come to realize something extraordinary. If beaches were likened to a multiverse, hers would appear to exist on a higher plane than ours. I can walk the beaches of others, but hers is beyond oh. my reach. It's invisible, <laughs> inaccessible, even to fragile, I fear. Uh, imagine it as a circulatory system, if you will. Each of our beaches is a single capillary. But Armelie's beach is the heart that pumps blood to the rest of us. Capillaries are subordinate to the greater whole. A whole governed by the heart, which gives direction, which dictates... Nice heart analogy. Which dictates everything, controls everything. Don't you see? She is in control. You may be able to travel against the flow and reach her, but having done so, if she does not wish to let you go, if she wishes to keep you, she can. Fragile and Die Hardman broke free from her beat, didn't they? I don't think it was any different from what happened to you. I didn't get out because I wanted to. I was forced out, repatriated, if you will, by her. Forced out? Why? <clears throat> this is only a theory, but she wants you, wants you to go to her. 
That's her final wish, don't you think? So that's it, huh? Amelie's the EE, and this is her endgame. Just so we're clear, if I want to stop the last stranding and come back in one piece, I need to go to her beach and talk her out of it. That about right? Correct. As cliche as it sounds, you're our talk only Talk no hope. jutsu. Though quite frankly, I doubt even you can change her mind. If you can't See, but the problem is reason, that we haven't seen her, you'll have to kill her. And being kill truthful her. to us yet. Right? Mm. She's world, still all lies. But you'll be so we don't actually know what her Forever. real, you know, motivations, reasons, or voice are. Is he taunting them with who's gonna get it? <laughs> Move! Fucking betas! <laughs> Only one person deserves this. Might as well make it official then. You ready to deliver the package? Duck, duck, goose. That's so weird. You're gonna give someone something. You don't have to sh hold it out in front of the other people you're not giving it to. <laughs> don't talk to her. Maybe she'll listen. But with the shape the world's in, it'll only be delaying the inevitable. Still, if it buys us time to try and build something better, a new lease on life, at least for a little bit, well, I can think of one woman who made the most of a chance like that. Nothing lasts forever. Not even the world. But we gotta keep it going as long as we can, right? Patch the holes, change the parts, all that. So we can say we had a good run, that we lived. Thought you didn't like having to handle things with care. Because it was hard enough keeping my own shit together. Big speech man. Back when we met at the cave, the only thing I cared about was making it to the next sunrise. Sure as hell didn't care about America or the future. I was living a lie, hung up on past regrets. I was broken. But somewhere along the way, I started changing. Started meeting people that made me think that maybe it wasn't all bad. People that put their faith in tomorrow, and in me. That kept the lights on, and waited for hope to arrive. So I gotta deliver, for their sake. What a man. Even if it means you never come back? Fucked if I do, fucked if I don't, right? Take care of Lou. I will. Couldn't find a working still mother east of Port Knot City. Kid's done enough. No more. All right. I'll do my best to nurse our little one back to health. Oh. I feel like he's like suddenly cracked open into this big monologue. And, uh. We've been getting the vibes of his internal thoughts throughout the game. But he definitely should have had a moment to open it up a little bit more before this point. But this fucking swelling soundtrack is incredible. Ludwig. Forsel. Fucking okay, amazing work. Help me look for Emily. Reach for her, Sam. Feel her. I know you love her. You love her. There. He 
She's been lying the whole time. She's been behind it all. You're, you've got your reasons, but I've never seen the real you, you know? So let's find out what that looks like. Yep. Who's the version of mom that said, kill him, shoot him? What, who are, who is that? Who's the version of Amelie that is all about everyone dying? Talk to us. Not like this. This isn't my fetish. <laughs> I don't know whose this is, but it ain't mine. No. Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely what? not. Nope. Nope. No, thank you. All right. Let's try that again. Alright, listen, I know I said Ray Ayanami before this, but like you 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 yeah, know okay. you're aware, right? Stop the extinction. That's a pretty good objective. Find Amelie. Oh no, you're naked. For sure. I mean like I was talking Ava, but we actually Ava. Will you get off that dead whale? I'm getting him by a better vantage point. <gasps> so it's not towards the earth, then. Because look at that. Like, this yeah. is just... Full on Ava shit. Yeah, taking a rest. Letting it all sink in. I massage my shoulders. to nothing. The last stranding has already begun. Amelie? No. You're too late. What took you so long? Your voice. Your gun. You still don't know who I am, do you? Who are you? Sam. I knew you'd come back. Hospital bed.
It's like a reunion of everyone who's lied to me. You were supposed to stop me. Stop all of this. Bridget? Yes. It's me, Sam. Where's Amelie? Where she's always been. Nowhere. My daughter, Samantha America Strand, doesn't exist. Amelie doesn't exist. Not in your world. I'm sorry, Sam. I've had to wear a mask for so long. Amelie and Bridget are both a part of me. What's this supposed to mean? Quiet, and I'll tell you. There is no time for questions. Listen. Just listen. I'm all ears. Yeah. What do you have to say? Do you understand, Sam? Amelie and Bridget? Those are just names. What I am is an extinction entity. So, knowing what you know now, you have two choices. I was getting shot, one of them. You wouldn't come back if it happened here, you know. You'd be straight on to the afterlife. But no, it's not one of them. Killing you would be a terrible mistake. I know that better than anyone. The last stranding has already begun. A seam has formed from my beach and the beaches of every soul in America. And soon it will be inundated by a vast surge of antimatter starting here. In a flash, this world will be no more. Consumed by an explosion. A big bang. So, that brings us to your first choice. Do nothing. Stay here with me. And bear witness to the very end. Just watch it burn. Together. With me. Until the last flame wings out. Doesn't sound so bad, does it? It's not like the world has long left anyone. Then there's the second choice. In expanding the network, you brought people and their beaches together, integrating them into a greater whole. Like this Kipu. But in doing so, you also bound them to my beach. The very beach where I opened the gates to the other side. You can't stop what's coming. But if you cut me and my beach loose, perhaps you can stop it from spreading. You might just prevent the last stranding. And mankind will live to die another day. And it doesn't have to end here. 
but it does. The beach is doomed no matter what. One look ought to tell you that. <sighs> Which is why we must sever our connection. That'll be it. The end of the Death Stranding. You can't stop the inevitable. The sixth extinction will happen either today or tomorrow. You can either end it with dignity, quick, clean, and in a flash, or you can struggle in vain, knowing full well what's waiting come the finish. Those are your choices. You call it struggling in vain, I call it raging against the dying of the light. There's a difference in perspective. You kept it all this time. Perhaps you still have a chance to stop this nightmare. You brought the world together. You have the right to decide. Pull the rope or cut the noose. But whatever you do, don't hesitate. I'm ready, Sam Strand. Make your choice. Wait. I don't know what to do. Sure you do. After everything, how could you not? <laughs> what do you want to do? For sure. Here, it's a dream catcher. Wear it when you sleep, and I'll keep the nightmare. Thank away. God that was it. If that was not it, I didn't know what the fuck else it was gonna be. I didn't know what the fuck else it was gonna be. I thought you were gonna kneecap this bitch. To make us whole again. And when the time comes, you'll have to stop me. You are the only one who can. Promise you'll remember. Sam, I'll be waiting for you on the beach. I remember. You knew. You always knew. I did and I didn't. I had so many dreams of the future. I didn't know which ones to trust. Which is why I decided to share them with you and the others. But to connect the dots, to make sense of everything, you need perspective. You need time. Time has no meaning. And you have to do something Sam would never do. Which is approach I'm another person. I am a single point. And reach out. Which is why all I could do was just show you the choices and let you decide. Our nightmares are your dreams. You found the common thread. The strand that links them together. Live life one day at a time. <sighs> Thank you, Sam. <sighs> a gun won't help you here, but it's 
still has a role to play. It was the bonds between people that brought the world together. And if that is what matters most to you, then I will stay here on this beach. And I will shut myself in and the rest of you out. Shut yourself in. Come on. Once the last stranding starts, it can't be stopped. I can't go with you. All I can do is try to spare you the worst. Why do you have to stay on the beach? Sam. To prevent it from reaching us. I am the beach. And I must stay here and ensure that the extinction happens. Even if it takes tens or hundreds of thousands of years. Alone? That's what an EE does. On my job, <coughs> none of this would have happened. <coughs> but I, I couldn't take it anymore. I got so tired of waiting, and I figured that no one would blame me if I just got it all over with. So that's what I did. Sounds like hell. You and the others came together, connected, and you may be living on borrowed time, but you still have hope. Before each of the big five, life rebelled. They fought back, evolved in order to survive. The extinction isn't just an ending. It's an opportunity. And if I have to pay the price for that, to be the sacrifice, then so be it. <sighs> Even if we aren't together, we will always be connected. That's a fucking shot. It's a big ass baby. <laughs> Your mom was extinction, bro. You were raised by it. But it's like once you're a living concept, then it's like the rules don't apply. You know, it's a it's a much different situation, and it's if that's the role she has to play, then I. You know? Although it's like... Yeah. Yeah, what is up with that? What's up with his face? Still has a role to play. That's exactly what I was thinking. It's like he tossed the baby away. But it still has a role to play. Credits? I'm Sam. I'm Sam. I'm Sam. Interesting. I was wrong. I was wrong. Okay. 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 Let me make Let it me right. Make it right. Make it right.
Quiet, and I'll tell you. There is no time for questions. When you were young, you used to have bad dreams. You cried about them all the time. The truth is, those weren't your dreams. They were mine. For as long as I can remember, I've dreamt of the beach. Not just while sleeping, in my waking hours, too. In my dreams, I watched the world end so many times. Countless past extinctions that decimated life on this planet. Again, and again, and again. At first, I didn't understand what I was seeing or why. And that wasn't the worst of it. There were other, more terrible dreams. Dreams of death and destruction. Of a massive extinction to come. And I would always be the one to end it all. To bring about the last stranding. As I have today. I don't want to do that. It does it automatically? It's setting me down. Yeah. The first operation. I was only 20. I opened my eyes and found myself on the beach. But the moment I came round, I was back in the hospital bed. I was split across two worlds. Bridget, my ha, and that one. Ah. Uh, my ka. Ah. Uh, Somehow, the two of us managed oh. to exist. Soon, our ages began to diverge. Only Bridget's body got older, while the beach kept Amelie's the same. So I came up with a story. I told people that Amelie was my son daughter, of a bitch. A daughter with a debilitating condition and an absent father. Look. Amelie. Um. <laughs> Here comes Hideo. Here he comes. Here he comes. A lie. I'm a lie. No I'm a lie. Only me. And America. America. I I was a in the beginning. <sighs> but later, I started thinking. <sighs> use this. Okay. He fucking jerks to off to these puns. The Kojima gets because rock hard at puns, dude. Had to be the key to interpreting my visions of the future. Oh my god. Like, it's the most clever thing in the world to him. Language puns and words with double entendres and triple entendres and quadruple entendres are the most amazing things humans have ever conceived. Is like that's some that's very similar to um not Ray, actually, but Asuka's mom in Eva. Uh is Divided from uh, like the the parts of her spirit. There's three parts of her spirit that are divided and separated from her, and the motherly part goes into the union, while the woman and the scientist remain behind in her, and she loses her mind. You know, so it's interesting that it's actually Over here. more like that. Did you reset my location? Yeah, you did. She reset my location. Or rather, the game did. So the beach loops infinitely. I realized the beach was connected. 
connected to the world of the dead. Which meant that somewhere out beyond it were the memories of time itself. Including those of every organism that had ever lived. 4.6 billion years of biological history. A history that might even stretch back to the creation of the universe. The chiral network and everything that followed was born from my pursuit of that knowledge. By passing data through the beach, we were unbound by the restrictions of time. Simulations that would have taken years or more were simple and effortless. Everything that the Earth had lost and forgotten could be reconstructed and reclaimed. But shortly after we began our research, America saw its first void out. I thought I was running out of time, that my nightmares were becoming a reality. So, I raced to complete the chiral network as quickly as possible. The past held all the answers. If only I could find a way to piece them together. A network that bridged our world and the beach. That might do it, I believed. So, I started researching bridge babies. Children bound to the world of the dead. What causes an extinction entity to come into being? Yeah. What was the reason for the previous five mass extinctions? The answers to those questions would tell me how to stop the sixth. I founded Bridges, more determined than ever to build a chiral network that would cover all of America. But the longer I fought my war against the inevitable, the weaker I became. My ha had cancer. The beach's punishment, maybe. For not playing along like a good little EE. -E. And then, just like that, my ho was gone. I couldn't finish what I'd started. So, I asked you to do it for me. And you did. You helped us complete the network. Helped us to reclaim everything the universe experienced from its inception to this moment. Every mystery was ours to solve, like this one. Once, there was an explosion. A big bang that gave birth to time and space. Thing is, it was more like a big poke. All that matter and antimatter should have cancelled itself out, leaving nothing. But somehow, somehow a tiny speck of matter survived. Just enough. Enough to make this world and everything in it. A world that shouldn't be, a world out of balance. Order inevitably gives way to chaos. Everything that lives must inevitably die. It's like the universe is trying to return us to the nothing we came from. Maybe the Big Five were its best attempts to finish us off. But somehow... Life always managed to survive just enough. Enough to thumb its nose at the will of the cosmos. You know, I'm starting to think that extinction might be the key to overcoming total annihilation. It forces life to fight to survive, to endure, to exist. That's why the Big Five ultimately rekindled life instead of extinguishing it. From the ashes of the dead, rise the living. Stronger and wiser. Inheritors of the legacy of existence itself. Ooh. They defy the universe and refuse to surrender. They say, we're just getting started. Extinction is an opportunity. How but if we have the choice to resist it and to... And, and to push past it than we do. That assumption is basically lining up the idea that what comes after you will be better. But that doesn't mean that you need to just sit down and give up. Yeah. Again, at what cost? Evolution at what cost? Hey, hey, hey. Fight, live, survive. Live on Kenshin. Continue. <laughs> like, playing with the concept of a video game is what he's doing right now.
This is super not for everybody. Now I get it. I pulled the trigger twice that day. I knew at once I'd made a mistake. I found your beach and looked everywhere for you. Sam. There you are. Baby. You want to go home? Let's go home. I wanted... I wanted to set you free from death once and for all. fundamental balance between life and death. I just wanted to save you. I am an extinction entity. It's my fate to lead our species to extinction. But that moment, you became part of that fate. You became a repatriate, and dooms started spreading my nightmares to others throughout the world. It was me that got you and everyone with dooms into this. Not long after, a death stranding occurred. The dead clung to our world, and BTs used my beach to cross over and devour them, triggering more void outs. A catalyst that would set the world on a path to extinction. It was my duty to serve as a sacrifice, to wait and watch it unfold from this beach. That, or hasten the last stranding and end this slow death. Given these, my only options. I chose to end it quickly. But to trigger the last stranding, I needed you, a part of me. Here too. I would be able to witness extinction consummated with you by my side. But now that you're here, there's another choice. You can cut me off. An EE doesn't have that option for itself, but in my nightmares, I saw another future, one that you chose. One where extinction is hope against total annihilation. She used Sam as a conduit for the entire Death Stranding. She said that she shot twice. She shot twice that day. So, um, I was going to say that there's a complication that comes from being a person, but also an entity, a living concept of sorts. And anytime that happens in a story it's almost like how much can you really blame them because like literally you're not even fully a human being you're an, you're a living idea that resembles a human being yeah we'll never reach those strands that's infinite distance. This is this is the beach. 
in its entirety. We're stuck here. You know? But it can go any way after or or far after they live their lives out. A gun won't help you here. But it still has a role to play. Reconnect with the living. <gasps> what? But I thought he would not be able to from the beach, but maybe that's what she's implying. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Listen, Sam. No Metal Gear Solid 4? I was the one that brought you and Cliff together again. There was something I wanted you to know. You were never abandoned. And you're not alone. Don't you see, Sam? You have to live. What if I bang my head on a rock? <laughs> Sounds like it's louder this way. What's? Do you see? At the, look at the horizon. Yep. Yep. The floating the big fig five. <laughs> the big five. The big five. The things that were floating in the distance, the horizon, the extinctions. Yo. <gasps> There's someone. <laughs> That's what they were. Don't give up. You're still connected. And suddenly this screenshot makes sense. Gotcha. Like that initial piece of, of concept art was just the, the floating. Fl fl floating beings in the far distance, the beach, Sam, and just the I, the word death strand. You're like, what is all of this? Oh what god, this? that's so gross. <laughs> the umbilical cord is forming a heart. That's disgusting. Uh, all right. All right, dead man. You, you got me. Oh, you hear that? Double four! Double four! <laughs> That's two fours. No! No! What does it mean? For too long have we lived as strangers to one another. Divided by walls built to keep us safe. But now with the completion of the Cairo network, 
we may at last move forward as a people united. Today we come together to celebrate the birth of a new nation. A new nation for a new world. The United Cities of America. I once took an oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States. And though that proud republic may be no more, we remain. And so, as your president, I hereby swear to support and defend you, the people. Let there be no more walls between us, nor masks to hide who we are. What a twist. Can't believe it. Let there be a new America. An America where we can face one another. Where we can speak our minds and open our hearts. The old ways die hard. But I believe, my fellow Americans, that we have the strength and the courage to rise above our past and embrace our future. The Death Stranding is a part of that past. An enduring shadow. A constant reminder of what could have been. That we stand here today is testament, not to the greatness of any one individual, but to our capacity to come together. To the bonds between us. To our collective greatness. All things must come to an end, ourselves included. But as long as we savor each moment, find joy in the promise of tomorrow, embrace hope and reject despair, we will endure. President Bridget Strand and her daughter, Samantha America Strand, sacrificed everything in their pursuit of hope that we the people might be whole again that they are not here today to see the fruits of their labor fills us all with a profound sadness okay guy but we find comfort in the knowledge that their new nation built on, on fake news bro <laughs> <laughs> already at it in our hearts we will always remain connected her name's not even Samantha America Strand it's not even her name there is another hero in this story one whose achievements seem destined to go unrecognized America still needs that hero that person without whom we would not be here the name is unimportant, but you know who I mean. You got damn right. And for that unsung hero, I have a message. It was you who brought us together. You who made us whole again. And while you and I will eventually pass on, we will be... Going somewhere, Sam? Tired of being the unsung hero? No, I'm done is all. She's gone. Come on, wait. There's something I need to tell Last you. Last time Kojima put us in the huh? president's This doesn't bother you anymore? Chambers. <laughs> well, it was that's uh great. Now much more strenuous you like circumstances. To know how we brought you back from the beach. We were going to use the doll, but didn't have one handy, which is when I remembered something else. Not what I think it is. Yes. What could be more connected to Amelie's beach than President Strand's umbilical cord? Oh yeah, that thing. Hartman thought that's why she left it with me in the first place. Unfortunately... It didn't work. Yeah, she'd already cut her beach loose. It was just... gone. We didn't know if that meant she dragged you into the great beyond, or sent you to some other beach. We were really racking our brains. Hartman and Mama split up and started searching every beach you might feasibly have washed up on. We looked for a month with absolutely nothing to Whoa, show. Wow. A 
a month on the outside. How long on the inside? Trust me when I tell you, you don't want to know. Whoa. But don't worry. We found no signs of accelerated aging. In the end, this is what led us to you. Just when we were about to give up, Die Hardman reminded us about the revolver. So, we tried to follow it, and it led us to a far corner of your own beach. And bingo, there you were. Mama made visual contact first. She was able to see you from her vantage point on the other side. She informed Lochna via their connection, and Hartman confirmed your location during his subsequent NDE. The plan was for Fragile to, in essence, slingshot Lou and me to your position so we could rescue you. But it's not so easy to send multiple individuals to another person's beach for an extended period of time. And the that's gun where saved the, the day. Cord came in. <laughs> we wove these from President Strand's DNA. They serve as a single knot that binds us all. The President must have known all of this would happen. Ironic, isn't it? The gun that set this whole mess in motion ends up being the key to saving you. Hmm. I'm away. She said it had another purpose. Not a weapon, but a lifeline. A stick that became a rope. <laughs> I suppose that's one way of putting it. Oh, Sam. You have no idea how long I've been waiting to give you a hug. <laughs> Got something else to tell you. Top secret. It's about Cliff. Shower scene part Baby's two? His mother's name was Lisa Bridges. Cliff's common law wife. Lisa Bridges? Lisa Bridges. Uh, uh, now, Cliff was killed by a man identified in the records only as John. Former U.S. Special Forces. Quite good at it by all accounts. Later appointed as an aide to the president who used him for most of her wet work. The records go on to state that he vanished after Cliff's death. A warrant was put out, but he was later found dead. Turns out some people die harder than others, though. Dear John donned a mask and reappeared with a new identity. But you can't fool the chiral network. We restored the old records, and Mama hid them deep in the archives. You're the only one besides us with access privileges. Take a look if you're so inclined. But don't say I didn't warn you. The president's got some dirty, dirty laundry. I don't trust him. But I'll work with him if that's what it takes. <gasps> we'll talk later. Oh, shit! <laughs> Sam. I don't expect you to forgive me. But would you hear me out? I killed Captain Clifford Bunker. You sure did. I would tell you I did it for America. For love of country. But I didn't. I did it for her. Because I loved her with all my heart. Huh? She was everything to me. Everything. Now, I'm not trying to make excuses. I just want you to know that not a day's gone by when I haven't thought about it. Time didn't help. Or the mask. Please, let me finish. He. The captain saved my life. You know why they call me Die Hartman. Because he 
wouldn't let me die. He brought my sorry ass back home every time. And I loved him as much as I loved her. <laughs> And when he stared me down, that ghost, I knew he was here to kill me, to make it right. And why shouldn't he? <laughs> why didn't he? He couldn't save his... his kid. His baby. And that's what brought him back. I guess when he... He saw I was trying... to do my part... for America. He remembered... who he was. And he forgave me. God! But I don't deserve it, God damn it! There is no atoning for what I've done. Dad, God! No. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe... Maybe this is the next best thing. Maybe he brought me back from the beach for a reason. One last time. He wanted me to do this. To keep on being Die Hardman. No. He didn't. Nobody wants a president who acts like they're immortal. And if you're not scared of death, how can you value life? And life is pretty fucking fragile right now. And yeah, the old ways die hard. But that's what's gonna have to happen if we're gonna come together and build a better America. That gun won't help you here. That's her words, not mine. Thank you, Sam. Hey, Sam. Been waiting for you. Lou? Dead? Poor thing was never truly alive. Not in this world, at least. The decommissioning order finally came through. <sighs> can't risk necrosis. The body can't stay here. I thought you might want to take care of it. You could try taking Lou out of the pod just to see what happens. That would be in direct contravention of an executive order. And there are laws about that kind of thing. Now that we're a nation. I just couldn't bring myself to do it. But if the alternative is defying the president, 
I can't do that either. Not me. All right. I'll go to the incinerator. Before you leave, I'd like to check something quickly. I just took your cufflinks offline. In that state, there'd be nothing to stop you from removing them. If you did, the UCA wouldn't know where you were or how to find you. You'd be invisible. When you use the incinerator, You'll be reconnected to the network automatically. I trust you'll remember what I said. Right, absolutely. Thank God. I was worried. She's great. How's the weather? Don't think you'll be needing an umbrella. I decided to follow my father's dream after all. Don't worry. I won't get mixed up with any terrorists this time. UCA's got my back. We're the first private delivery company to get the official approval. Sounds like you're moving up in the world. Congratulations. Thanks. <laughs> Wait. There's something I have to tell you. I didn't shoot Higgs. Couldn't pull the trigger. Mm -hmm. So I let him choose. Death or eternal solitude on the beach. Well, fair enough. You never did like breaking things. That's right. I find and fix what's broken. And reconnect. I'm fragile. But not, not that fragile. Wop, wop, wop. <gasps> so he did it then. Himself. Yep. Because we heard the shot. Yep. Right? Mm -hmm. Could use a man like you. The world's still broken. The same as before. What isn't? But we're still here. We're still chugging along. Not everyone. Not me. Come on. You put America back together, didn't you? Doesn't mean there's a place for me. I've got no ties to anyone or anything. I might as well be dead. I felt like that when we first met in the cave. I still do. Don't act like you're the same person. You've learned how to touch, to feel. You've connected with people, with us. Everything I touch, I lose. Sam! good oh yeah it's time yeah those credits were a lie okay, so let's say oh shit days. oh shit
So let's say 30 days times do what you gotta 14, do. 440. Do what you gotta which do. Makes 43,200 minutes. Yeah, just and con convert this it. This is times three, you said? Convert it with the thing. Do, you know? One. Three minutes is 24 hours. You don't have to work it out vocally. Just. <laughs> Trying to hear the song. Sorry. I'm getting various results. Dude, the touchpad. People are saying like 40 years. God damn. 90 minutes. With this music, though. Okay, you know what? It's alright, Reggie. We'll figure it out afterwards. It's okay. It's okay. Christ Ludwig. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. there once in the beginning for mom but yeah. it was uh, it was down the river path over here oh. still talking to Lou too oh, that's no. what I'm saying the touchpad yeah. when you call out so Feels bad, man, is a character as well. <laughs> that's that, that's all of us now. Um, there's something a bit fucked up about establishing the country without even knowing what is happening outside your borders. Like, the United Cities of America is established, but like, literally, what of the rest of the world? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, we still don't know. We still don't know. Okay, those sounds are just the music. Oh, God. For a second, I was like, why does he sound so happy? BB song by Ludwig Forsell. BB's theme, excuse me. Jesus fucking Christ. And then it plays the sounds of, of the kid. And I'm like, oh wait, is, is, he, okay? is he okay? Oh no. <laughs> Dude, if this were the other map, I would just go to the elder's house and just go hide there. Yeah. Hi. 
You know? I guess we're here. You still with me, though? Poor thing was never truly alive. Not in this world, at least. Well, thanks for everything. Second, all this is over. I'm going to take you wherever you want to go. You'd do everything in your power to save BB. We are. But we cannot release your son just yet. Believe me when I tell you it's for the best. Is this is some woman in a mask who's done nothing but lie to me. I have a duty to protect our country. Lies are an unfortunate necessity. The president gave me the highest level access privileges. I've used them to manipulate the security system. We have five minutes before it resets, sir. Five minutes to talk. Off the record. Take BB and get out of this place. There's nothing I can do for your wife. I'm sorry. You were my commanding officer, but I swore an oath to the president to protect her and the country at all costs. Now, if she orders me to do something, I have to do it. I have to. But I served under you first. And your family doesn't deserve this. Any of this. Why are you helping me? If they catch you. Because you saved my life, sir. Again and again. When the brass sent us into the jaws of hell, it was you that brought us home. Back then, I thought I was invincible. I thought I was some kind of action hero. But I'm not the hero. You are, sir. You're the reason I'm still alive. And it's past time I paid that debt.
They're moving your son to a new facility tomorrow. You'll never see him again. He'll serve as the foundation of a new communications network. A sacrifice for a nation that no longer exists. I wrote down everything you need to know. It was the only way to keep it off the system. Burn it when you're done. The rest is up to you, sir. I believe this belongs to you, sir. Now, I can't terminate your wife's life support from inside her room. System won't allow it. So, this is the only other option. is set to go off if she flatlines. I've rigged the system to spoof her vitals. But you won't have long. Five minutes, tops. Don't hesitate, sir. This is the only chance you'll get. Sorry, Lisa. Don't worry. I'll take care of him. I promise you. Oh my God! <laughs> oh, I promise. That's what he went through. Just to get it. And then you fucking take it away from him. Oh, man. This is what he had to do to get it. And then you take it away from him. He has every Maybe. reason in the world. Maybe. Every reason. Bibi, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Daddy.
I guess it's time. It's like they dumped so much more sadness at the end of this, on the tail end of this road. I just... Like, you want to think there's a way out, but I can't think, I can't find, I can't think of any. God damn it. I can't believe how fucking right Mads is. Mads is the most insanely right, the, like, the entire time. This heavy dark. I just took your cufflinks offline. In that state, there'd be nothing to stop you from removing them. If you did, the UCA wouldn't know where you were or how to find you. You'd be invisible. When you use the incinerator, you'll be reconnected to the network automatically. You could try taking Lou out of the pod just to see what happens. But that would be in direct contravention of an executive order. See, he did drop that at you. Which made me think you'd have to think of something before actually starting the process. Less than 50% damage. Why, thanks for the likes, dead man. Gosh. What rank did we get? US. US awesome. US. We got an awesome ranking. Oh, God. This we is, did a good job. This is the worst. S, S. class. S rank. You're S rank. Baby. Oh, God. How is my bridge link? I'm a legend. Cargo condition high. Delivery volume, pretty good! You see that image over there? You see what's on your chest? Wh where is that now? Delivered! There you go. Oh. Sign here, please! <gasps> a purpose that cannot fulfill outside the pot. There is a 70% risk of catastrophic failure simply in removing it. Okay, you had to go through with the process. You had to go through with the process before you fucking stop it. There, yeah, okay. Thank you, like, thank you. Patriot. Where? There. He's running. No.
Freeze! Hey, put it down! Drop it! Put it down! Back off. Back off! I'll handle this. Sir, or we'll be forced to open fire. It's a dead end. He's trapped. Security will take it from here. I'm sorry, Lisa. I screwed it up. I've ruined everything. This room is off limits. No one goes in. But he's in there, sir. I saw him. You saw him. Now step the other way. Go! Yes, sir. No. Open it up. He's inside. Move, dumbass. Bibi. Don't worry. It's okay. I'll always be with you. See the sunset. The day is ending, let that yawn out, there's no pretending, I will hold you and protect
your father. I was so scared. Scared of what it would mean. I had to be there for you and your mom. Self killed anymore. Couldn't leave you all alone. I couldn't. Get off of him now. Just like any other cliff. Oh my god. <laughs> Dead end. <laughs> no way forward. Nothing. But an obstacle. Looking on at the world people like you were trying to build. That's, people. Yeah, the connection between the gun scene the only thing I was ever good at. is a hundred percent what I thought it was. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh my God, his name is Cliff. Yeah, his name is Cliff. He's a Cliff. Oh. <laughs> you like that, eh? <laughs> that got me. That I did. I literally, literally. That one get. Uh. <laughs> I was waiting for the moment where it would come through, you know? You, you son of a bitch. You bring people together. You're on that bridge. To the future.
Mm-hmm. Oh God. That BB too. And there he is. Severed. It was me who cut the cord. So, yes. 
a deathless repatriate in the world of the living. Should we decommission him? In a manner of speaking. Take him out of the pod. I'll raise him as my own. And that's the timeline. Complete. Well, we have all the pieces, I think. The rainbow's wreck is uh, bending the right way. It felt like, was it regular rain? His hair didn't change or no, anything. No, it's, it's regular rain. It's not time fall. Normal rainbow. Normal rain. What does it mean? <laughs> it means things are going to be okay, Reggie. It means things are going to be okay. Oh my god. I feel some kind of way, uh, I won't lie. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, dead babies? Oh my god. god. Uh, real credit. Oh, oh, it's a girl. 
girl. Bro, what did I say? What did I say last time? We need him. <laughs> it's a girl. Oh my god. I had a sister once. Kaboom. Fuck yeah, children of men. <laughs> it's a girl. Well, hey, guess what? Sam, Samantha. Right? They yes. already had similar names yes. in that context as well. Like that was a deliberate that was a deliberate. Oh boy. Look at this. The overall porter grade. Total water ingested. Total playtime, 203 hours. How about that? That is a lot. But that was a lot of fun, too. I'm not sure. Okay. Well, tomorrow is in your hands. Okay. Right. Mada, mada. Two weeks earlier... Oh, it was just 35 out of 36 connections because of the 4.5, man. Uh. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Good morning, Sam. Blood collection okay. Thank you so our post-game is a flashback. Well, look who's awake. Morning, Sam. You'll be happy to hear your vitals have stabilized and that you're well on your way to recovery. Ah. Not that it's your fault, but what I wouldn't give to trade places. We're all stuck in the president's office, working like dogs to get everything ready in time for the inauguration. But at least one of us is still free as a bird. You should head out. Make the most of it. Uh, Could even do some orders if you wanted. This is what I always wanted. Thank you. Wait, no good. Oh, okay, there we go. That's fine. I was like, okay. I wanted more colors. I've been waiting for colors the entire game, assholes. <laughs> Thank you. A real hero. Cheers. Terrorist green. I'm just waiting for dead man to be like, hey, we got uh, blueprints for a plane. Yeah, fuck off. <laughs> fuck off proper. Right off the edge of my dick with that one. Uh, I don't know what questions you have, but I feel like most of them are answered, but I do have some lingering ones. Um, <coughs> and uh, I guess the, the like, my, my, my uh, it doesn't expressly say it, but I'm assuming that um, the reason why we are uh, seeing our own memories when we connect to Lou is because Lou is still a connection to the other side, right? So I'm assuming that that is what is actually happening is simply connecting with anything like a bridge baby, which is connecting us to the other side is enough for it to trigger, um, tapping into the tapping memories. into his own memories. Yeah. Right. So, uh, perhaps that's what's up. Right. Um, the other thing, which is, of course, the, you know, it's part of the, the whole twist is the idea that every time uh, Cliff was coming for, for BB, Cliff was coming for you. And the connection to you was indistinguishable from the feeling of coming for BB, right? Yes. But to Cliff, the, 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 the bridge baby on your chest is the thing he remembers. Probably. And is what he's seeking but you are actually the connection. Yes. Right? <laughs> so he didn't know that you were you. And he just, I mean, the last thing he saw before uh, coming back was him walking, turning around. He saw, because he saw, like, you know, everyone when they die, right? They walk away into the distance, into the, into the water. Yes. And, like, you can't really fight it. Right, and you see Hartman having that moment, and then, and so on. For him, he has that moment where, like, he turns around, he's seeing Emily pick you up, but then he still has to go away, and he turns his back and then continues. Right, so like, um, he acknowledged he he did see that moment happen, but when he's coming for you, he's not aware of the fact that like the thing on your chest is not actually yeah. his, you know. Um, 
So I'm wondering what's up with Sam's life after being adopted all the way to the the Porter life. You I know? I guess there's not much to it besides the tragedy we were told about, mm -hmm. right? Like we were told that he had um he lost his girl, right? We were told about uh what his intended like uh, uh his his he was going to name his kid Lou and then lost his kid. Yeah. So I don't know if there's much else that there's there's much else to it beyond that, but um that seems to be about the extent of what we got. And then you know, then there's the part where like Emily has her feelings about you know, wanting to uh, uh to do her job and she's impatient on the beach almost and is like, "Okay, let's get this extinction over with," right? And then Higgs gets brought into the fold and then tasked with uh and then he's become he's tasked with like carrying out her will, and then through her connections and so on, she kind of starts to change her mind, right? And you kind of start to change her mind as well, and then um, this whole thing is kind of you talking her out of it, yeah, right? But it's it's just it's kind of hard to like see her being okay with not. To see her being okay with you suffering in the, in the ways that you suffered throughout this game, you know what I mean? Where it's like she's caring for you deep down, and you're able to talk her out of like what she feels is a hopeless situation, but like she's also willing to sort of like um, use people like Higgs to do terrible things, and like you know, and even in those moments when you're like. Uh, you're having the flashbacks to like her uh, on the beach c crawling up to you and you're all freaked out about what's going on in the beginning of that whole beach sequence. Yeah. It's all, it's like, it's, it feels like there's moments where she's not showing compassion for you basically, you know, and it's a little bit like, like what is your deal exactly? But I think some of that is also just like the, the, um, the complexity of, I guess, like the fact that she had an opinion and then changed it and that you are, making her go against her nature. Yeah. Maybe that could cover the reasons why things are like hostile but also loving at the same time, you know? Um anyway. That's that's the one. That's the one thought I have which requires more than a couple of sentences to yeah. talk to talk about. You need you to know? to think about it and question yourself on that. Uh, yeah. It, sh it definitely see you the most regret you see is when she realizes that she shot the fucking fetus. Yeah, <laughs> she picked up Die Hard Man's hand and fucking yeeted the fetus. Poor guy. Right, like literally with his own hand, and as if he wasn't already like suffering enough. Yeah, exactly. Right, and then has a breakdown immediately afterwards. But like the but like the the state of mind to to do that yeah. is already still super like callous. You know what I mean? even with all the regret. So that's that's just that's the one thing is like she's she's regretting her actions really really severely and 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 it shows but like she still spurred them on in this way and I guess that's the complexity of her being practically not human. Yeah. You know. Anyway, I'm going back to our own shelter now. No more running away from me. I've got a wedding to plan after all. Yeah, blink twice if you need help. Maybe she got kidnapped for all I know, and he's the one writing everything. His gang killed my parents. That is also very surprising. There's no denying that. But there's no denying that he saved me. That's some good Stockholm Syndrome. Like, he did this bad thing. You know, this was almost a perfect ending until <laughs> I opened this email. Can I just mark it as unread, undo the read receipt, delete it, and pretend it never happened? Because this is the end of the story. Found impaled on a zip line alongside the Chronicles of Aaron. <laughs> so that Aaron Hill and the junk dealer drowned in tar. Fuck off! The wedding is back on. Okay, okay, but what does Mama have to say about this? It won't be easy, and frankly, it shouldn't be. 
but I sincerely believe they have what it takes. If they want to get married, I'll support their decision. Okay. Does that... Man! Yeah? Yeah, that's some weird... That's some... All right. That's some weird He shit. was a kid. Yeah. He wasn't involved. He was not involved, and he saved her. He was like, no, leave, yeah. leave her alone. Well, then... And it was a miracle that they got back together. Fine. So then he's just a jerk. <laughs> yep. He, you know, at the end of the day, fine. He's he's a jerk. He's just Lee. I'm confused now. This makes it sound as if she did exist physically in person, and that she had a, this this case they're describing as locked in syndrome. And then at some point, she then became someone that no one met. But the way the characters made it sound just now, it sounded as if she was always on the beach, merely projecting herself into our world. Okay. Go back up a bit. Yeah. Yeah, this is not real. So did he know the truth? This is this is just this is just uh Bridget covering her existence. Right? This this whole thing that what that we're reading right now is complete bullshit. Like the hologram yeah. thing, whatever, blah da, da da da. Like no, she literally she exists on the beach. She is not there's there is no daughter so all of that is nonsense yeah bullshit blazing indeed um and i guess the uh, and that brings me to um what uh, what i was about to ask actually just before we selected this was like <sighs> why does she have two names again slash five names Oh, you mean uh, Amelie? I mean, obviously, there's Bridget and there's Amelie. Bridget, Amelie, Samantha. Yeah, but why is she also Samantha? America's, why is she Samantha America Strand and also Amelie? Was Samantha like cult of personality type of thing? The name that she gave uh, her daughter, but the official name was Amelie as the, the other half of her soul? Amelie nickname for Amelie's a nickname for Samantha America Strand. Okay. Okay. All right. It was just that's all it was. It was just taken from the middle name okay. into that abbreviation or not even abbreviation. Okay. Um and Bridget Strand um or rather Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Just I almost said Bridget Bridges. <laughs> But then I realized that Bridget is also... That's well, so part of it. Our, uh, Bridget is named Bridget because Bridges. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, Jesus fucking Don't Christ. hurt yourself like this. It all... Uh. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> You're good. You're good. Trust me. Like, Sam is already a porter and a Bridges. And Bridges, Lisa Bridges, the Bridges family, the Bridges name... But Bridget is also Bridget because Bridges. And America. Bridges, Bridge, Bridge. And Amelie, who is Amerigo Vespucci, who is America Strand, who is also Soul Lie. <laughs> and Sam and Lou, my soul. It's just. It's just a lot. It's just a lot. Willie, can I, um show you what's on my phone right now do you see this do you see this what does strand mean in dutch <laughs> don't throw my phone across the room <laughs> don't throw my phone across the room tell the people what you saw tell them what i've shown you from the bottom of my heart go fuck yourself reggie <laughs> Go fuck yourself, you what? piece of shit. I hate you. I hate you so much right now. I am filled with loathing. Yes. And venom. Yes. I can I feel the power there of getting is stronger. Vitriol <gasps> bubbling from my throat and gurgling over. Go fuck yourself. Tell them, Wooly. Tell them. He just held up a Google Translate. And he typed in the word strand. 
and translated it to Swedish? From Dutch to English. And then what? The Dutch word strand translates to beach. Oh! <laughs> yes! Kojima is so far ahead of you. Light years. You can't stop this man. It's everywhere. I can't, okay? I can't do it. I can't do it. No, I didn't. No. You know what? You know what? You know what? I finally have an answer to the infamous question. Did you like it? No. <laughs> I did not like it. I didn't like it at all. In fact, I hated it. But the work. It was terrible. <laughs> the wordplay is physically hurting me. This. No, that's okay with No, you. that's fine. It's just I'm having... Like, this is a confrontation with the nature of subtlety. Right? This, to me, I'm having a confrontation with the nature of subtlety yeah. in storytelling. Yeah. And I'm realizing how and why it's so important. Because... Of course, Kipu means not. Whatever. <laughs> fuck off. Like, I'm like, fuck the text you're about to read, right? It doesn't matter. Of, like, that's not even a... Why? Nothing is a surprise anymore. Like, you're about to read the first text on the screen in front of us that says, Kipu means not. Six feet under. Okay. He was raised, like... By a crazy, like Flop. adoptive father. He was, he was, cr yeah, he was raised like a bunker, bunker baby. Basically. Yeah. Over time, it'd fade, but I knew how I got it, and I knew how to get it back. All I needed was another body, and I got real good at making them. Fantastic, fantastic. Okay, okay, that's good. That's very, very good. That's excellent. Wow. So it was in him. There it is. I really appreciate these journals. Yes. Okay. Something I've uh, that just comes to mind when I'm reading 25 at the end here is I've often uh, criticized and had these moments in uh, games that um, in games like Nier and Nier Automata where uh, and, uh, and to some degree as well visual novel games where um, like Danganronpa has these moments too where when something gets translated from gets translated from Japanese to English and it's written originally for emphasis in a, in a big emotional moment. Sometimes they'll do these things where they repeat the same word over and over and over and over again. Yes. And then you'll see like they'll st it'll pop up more and more and more and more until eventually you see a paragraph of just that one word or just that one sentence, right? And it's supposed to leave a chilling, creepy obsession sort of effect. Yeah. But it doesn't really work, especially when you keep doing it in this way. Um, it ends up just kind of reading, it reads weird. The impact that it's supposed to leave, I don't think translates that well into English, right? Um, Yoko Taro's done it. Again, Danganronpa's done it. Visual novels have done this type of thing where you just see the word repeated infinity. The way to do it in English is to do it like this, right? His fucking pain, right? His fucking pain. His fucking pain. It's heavier. But it's, and it's not 18 times in a row with nothing else. Yeah. The story is continuing. You're fine. You're going through the events. You're piecing together each moment in time as it takes another step forward. And his fucking pain interrupts it a couple times. And then it comes back in one more time with full context of that moment. Right? At the end. Yeah. This is the actual way to write and get an idea that's an obsession in someone's mind across in that moment. By just taking the word his fucking pain and repeating it and then having pain, 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 pain for a paragraph in those other contexts that I've talked about in the past, this is the exact opposite of that. This works super well. And the culmination, the resolution after he goes his fucking pain, his fucking pain, the kitchen knife in my yeah, hands. Exactly, exactly. In this is just this is well written. His hands. Yeah, yeah, it's well right. It's a hundred percent. Everything is. This good. is this is, and it's just this is. Uh, this doesn't help for this playthrough, but I, it's something I've pointed out when I when I'm like, don't do that. And the reason why I say don't do that is because this is how you do it correctly. <laughs> Not a uh, death mask, though, uh, but one for living, for ruling. Today is the last day anyone sees my face. I don't need it anymore. Damn. Okay. 
Well. Wow. That explains that explains that. Effect. An obsession with corpses in general also yeah. goes a long way. Huh. Huh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, man. So Higgs is the product of uh, fucking post-apocalyptic paranoia in somebody reflecting itself into massive child abuse. Right? Yeah. That's that's uh, that's the meat. <laughs> Them's yeah. the meats. At the end of the day, the community needs a strong leader, and the God's honest truth is that I'm the only one cut out for it. It's interesting. So, I mean, he joins an existing group of people that are already rejecting yep. um, society, right? Please. Okay. Okay. So, uh, he met Fragile, and... He's getting the idea of like the ability of like what you can do with this, but it's not at the point of wishing for all extinction, right? It's just a point at which he's like, oh, I met somebody that has abilities. I have abilities. This is cool. And yo, we could do something with it. Make it whole again. Put our shattered places, pieces back together. Um, Journal when. 10, Samantha yep. America Strand. That's the fucking. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Done. Done. Not a not a knife licker after all. He's a knife licker, but he's better than a knife licker. He has a journey. He has a character. He's not. But it's it like the 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 dimension lies in the in the backstory. The the dimension behind Higgs requires you to go back and read, right? It's not displayed in his game in game. Yeah. And there's a there's always an argument, right? And I will say that people are not wrong for feeling this way. Uh, there is an argument for folks that say that show don't tell is a big is a big idea that um, is a big idea that people have because when you show and you don't tell, uh, you get to experience the, the the character in like the best shape they're in, which is like seeing it in live in the in the moment in the cutscene and not necessarily in an art book afterwards or in a side novel or yeah. in text, you know. Um, and I and I'd say that in this case, Higgs would 100% benefit from that, right? Because who would who would not want to see all that amazing, all that really awesome backstory we just read? Wouldn't it be amazing to see Troy Baker going through that? Yeah, becoming that character, delivering in all those moments, giving us the meat and potatoes of Higgs. It would have been a amazing it would have been amazing yeah. right but you but you just it's not what the it's the, that's backstory it's mm. not it's not this right this is the current testament so um it still sucks that you got you have to tell instead of showing and i think one of the ultimate cases of that we always hear about is a, a xenogears this game that's a really good rpg that ran out of money and the last half of the game has someone sitting on a chair literally rolling a wall of text at you for the better part of an hour of just describing what happened. Oh, that is sad. It sucks, right? But that's the type of shit that um you know, you it makes you it makes you like that's where you go like, "Oh my god, like this is why, right? This is why you have to like show as much as of of uh the most compelling parts of a character's story as you can." And it will take some time to build trust and convince him to open himself up to me. You would think she'd be the most doting mother of all time considering how ridiculously circumstantial the entire situation is and considering how lucky she got. Yeah. Then again, concept, not exactly a person. <laughs> you know what I mean? How good of a mother can you be when you're not, like, touching your child? <laughs> um, well, more like, her. she was occupied. She had stuff on her mind, you know, the end of all things. Okay, Gendo. I get it's like so all things considered he was still kind of alone right after that miraculous like near death experience you know he still is like left to fend for himself yeah beaches in this description here are like she's treating it as if it's like okay fuck that you're crazy yes because she said that she doesn't believe in it, right? Right, whereas the world we're in, everybody knows speeches are real. Yes. So I guess, like, there are the, the explanation of them going public with it, besides Bridges members, happened recently. Like, super recently. To it. 
I have come to the conclusion that this contradiction is at the root of some offense phosm phobia. Wow. So the asexuality conversation part two, essentially. Um, you know, like, it's interesting when you kind of get the, the macro level zoom out on this entire situation, because if we were to sum this all up in a nice big bow, the concept of extinction itself, the embodiment of it yes. in an entity that is Amelia slash uh, Delivery complete. Bridget Displaying performance evaluation. comes down and becomes the president of the United States of America. And at no point does anyone else in the planet on the planet have a say <laughs> in yeah. the ex in in whether or not humanity should be extinct. Only someone, only in America, and that's the only place where the global situation will be decided. The gl the fate of humanity is decided by the White House in the post-apocalypse. Turn to my surprise. The president didn't have any problems with our relationship. If anything, she was pleased. I suppose this means I'll soon be joining the Strand family, together with this new life growing inside of me. Ooh. He fell in love with his therapist. Damn. What that dick do though? Damn. Yeah. Damn. Like, as I was like, you have to when you think about it too. It's almost like. Well, who else is he going to form a connection with, right? Yeah. Like, the person whose job it is to help, fu like, unfuck his situation is the one is who he's going to, like, connect to. Yeah. Report number nine. Our baby is doing well. Yeah, Tony Soprano, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> We've been told we're having a girl. Sam's already picked out a name for her. Louise. Eh. Lou, he likes to call her. Eh. He talks to her a lot. Touching my stomach, telling her to grow big and strong. Bridget was delighted when she found out and suggested that we take a family photograph. Emily was out of town, so it was just the three of us, blushing, smiling, and that same blush, that same smile, when we received the printout, along with my apologies for being old-fashioned. Motherfucker, the photo. Yes. Ah, there it is. Ah. There was a funny little message on it. Be stranded with love. Out of town, she says. Handwritten and signed. It's unique now. You can't digitize it or copy it. I'll always remember those words and that moment forever. Damn. Look at this photograph. First time I look at it, it makes me laugh. Wow. Yeah. So that was her. And the face is erased because whatever. Yeah. Like... But that's the deal. That's, Interesting. That's, 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 so the whole time, the, the face is the face is erased so that you would think you were looking at um, uh, 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 Emily at a point, yeah. right? But then you see she's pregnant, and you go, "Wait, what? Emily's not pregnant. That doesn't make any sense. When is your sister?" And then it's like, "That's not your sister." And then you get the whole thing. So that full-on hoodwink of a photo. There you go. There you. There. Okay. 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 Report number 10. Little Lou's 28... Drop a time fall. A drop of time fall on the photo. Oh. Yeah, okay. Got it's it. true at the beginning. Right. right. When he looks at it and he's showing it to a fragile, right? But do you even get a look at her face? I don't think so. Right? Like... I, yeah, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't remember. I don't think so. I don't think we saw her face. I'm just gonna... See, I don't remember. Okay, I don't. I don't remember if we saw her face. Yeah, either. yeah. But like we, like okay, that's where that's what it was. Was a drop of time fall. Cool. Mm, okay. Yeah. Report number ten. Little Lou is twenty-eight weeks old now. The doctors just checked us both out and said we're doing fine. But I'm not so sure. Lately, having ha I've been having the same terrible dream every night. I open my eyes and I'm alone on the beach. I'm lonely and afraid. So I start wandering around looking for someone anyone i spot sam and amelie standing at the water's edge their backs to me relieved i call out to them her hair shimmers in the gray light but when she turns is her mother's face twisted with sadness and pain she speaks and says i'll be waiting for you on the beach 
and I scream. I scream so loud. And then I wake up. End of the report. Hmm. Report number 11. Everything's gone wrong. I didn't understand at the time. I was a therapist, a good one. But even I couldn't make sense of the nightmares of what was happening to me. Bridget came to me. She visited me the other day. They're not nightmares, she said. I hadn't told her yet. I felt Lou stirring inside of me as she continued. She said she was sorry that she hadn't known it would happen. Lou's special. She said that a lot. Lou had Sam's blood. And through her, I was bound to the beach. Sorry, it just... Him yelling out as you read over the things, <laughs> you know, I screamed. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Yeah, all right, go on. Lou had Sam's blood, and through her I was bound to the beach. Don't be afraid. She said that a lot, too. I'd cured Sam, made him whole, given him a life to live for, to protect, made him a part of this world. She had a lot to say about that, about how the world was a jumbled mess, life and death all mixed up, but that Sam, my Sam, might be the one to make it whole again, like I'd made him whole. Without him, our fate was sealed, but with him, there was still hope for a future. And then she told me I was right. The beach exists within each of our minds, but that didn't mean it was just a figment of our imagination. It had value, purpose, and in time, I would understand. She took my hand, like I'd taken his on that day a lifetime ago. She smiled and she squeezed. I was there, on the beach. Everything I had seen in my nightmares, I saw in that instant. Somewhere inside me, Lou was laughing. And then, it all fell into place. Sam's birth, his family, the death stranding. For the first time, I saw how all the pieces fit into a terrible truth I didn't want to believe but couldn't deny. I saw my part in it too, and little Lou's. Hmm. Those funny little words on Good the picture, work. be stranded available. with love, and I was. End of report 11. So that's interesting because she was given all the information almost about everything that was about to happen. What's not interesting is that fucking 4.5 man over here refuses to give me the star. Give me the star, five man. Stranded on our shore. There are pills on the tables next to me that I just took all at once. I've tried to make sense of it, but this was never my world. I was born into an older one, one without a beach where the dead stayed buried and life moved on. Damn it. I'm shaking so hard. I don't think the drugs are working. I've I've got some syringes loaded with sedatives. Enough, I think. I'm going to use them. One after another. Until I run out. I love you, Sam. I'll always love you. End of the report. Oh my god. Oh. She, she just... But... Uh, and then... And then the void out. Right? Oh. Immediately. Uh, but what? Like, um, do you get the motivation? Like, she... Like, Emily showed her everything. She understood and learned everything in the last part. And then just... Was it too much for her? And just gave up? Was it too much? Like, learning the truth about... Um, she just couldn't deal. Oh my god, like... I, I don't... Like, that's the... The fucked up part is, like... Opting to just end everything for, like... Wh Hmm. Hmm. Okay. It was too much? I'm guessing she couldn't... Yeah, it sounds like she just couldn't handle it, right? But... 
but what was she told? I guess what she was told was the nature of uh, like all everything that you know that uh, Emily knew. But like, was there something in that information that was like ultimately tragic and or like final as far as her and her baby were concerned? Like, she found out the nature of Sam. But why does that mean that there's no place for her? While doomed sufferers are more resistant to Kyrillium exposure than normal humans, they are not immune, and higher levels of dooms may precipitate the erratic, suicidal, or homicidal tendencies of the Homo Demens. So, maybe... She her just, proximity to dooms drove her to take a ra irrational she decision. Just, what, she just lost her yeah. mind. It wasn't that she couldn't handle it and that she made a decision from her right mind. It's that she lost her mind. Okay. Fuck. And also in that interview, um, when Which she's th talking about the muddled lives, yeah, she says you and quotation mark, Bridget and Amelie and quotation mark. So I wonder if she knew that there was something between Bridget and Amelie. Say, 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 sorry, say that again. Um, that all too familiar feeling of waking and dreaming being tangled up. But you, you and, quotation mark, Bridget and Amelie, and quotation mark, lead even more muddled lives, don't you? So I wonder if there was if she knew something about well Bridget she and Amelie, well you know? she clearly did yeah because she saw in the yeah, previous report so she, so she yeah well well, well they, she knew everything yeah but she's writing to you before even you know what's going on as her last message right mm. um so then in that case what we what what that means is that like the, the nature of uh like. The, about of his dooms being um, a potential cause in her going down that fucking road to begin with means that of course he'd fucking blame himself for it, right? Like literally, like she learns the truth of everything, um, and she's and she's exposed to like massive dooms and the extinction event itself leads her down that road, which you're saying, which um, we just learned is. Uh, um, sometimes suicidal. Yeah. Right? And then, yeah, and like he's he's sort of responsible for that in a weird way without being directly responsible at all. So she just, yeah, the, 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 the situation was too much and then ultimately she kind of lost her mind in the process. Okay. Okay. That's super sad. I can, I can beyond sad. I can, I can wrap my head a bit more, a bit better around that. Um, because as it was, I was trying to understand like, why would she, in her rational mind, do that? You know. Come on. Thank you. Is it full? It's full. Is it? It's full. Is it? He's going to give us a star. You don't get that bandwidth increase unless it's five. Okay. Five star, man. We're done. I was just looking at the stars. That's why I wasn't sure. I've done it many times. You know how many times I've done it, Reggie? 36. Count them. Count them. That's how many times I've done it. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, thank you for your continued support. And then we got these last ones here. You want to take these? U.S. Special Forces Enlistment rec Record. John M. John Blake McLean. John McLean? John McLean. Nationality. American. McLean scored above average in physical and mental aptitude tests. His talents were recognized by Captain Clifford Unger, who elected to give McLean special training. Under Captain oh. Unger's command, McLean took part in several missions, during which he earned a reputation for survival against all odds, as evidenced by his nickname, Die Hard Man. Take a look at me now. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> 
How about that? <laughs> You like that? John McLean. Now, you like that? Yeah? You, you like connecting the dots? Yeah? I like that one! <laughs> <laughs> He's back! <laughs> He's back! <laughs> we got him! He's back! <laughs> We're back on the dad train. Let's go, Kojima. Uh, got me. Never stop. Got never me. stopping. This is why we do it. So they don't even really understand how he's not dead because he did die but then he just didn't die with no quite explanation for it besides Cliff saving him yeah I suppose oh man wow wow President John McLean assessing the situation the president ordered that a non-violent resolution be pursued ensuring no harm came to either the captain or the BV. However, this order was directly contravened by presidential oh. advisor John Blake oh. McLean, who shot and killed Clifford Oh, Oger. You want... You want to understand the EE's point of view? But fuck you. You know? Yep. I yep. hug you, but fuck you. It sucks. Fuck you. What a piece of shit. What a piece of shit. But also, you're just a fucking... You're death. You're death. You're literally just death. So, what are you supposed to do with that? Oh, poor dude, yeah. man. Tried his best. Wow. Hand on the gun. Yep. And a, a room full of soldiers... They don't have the clearance to say otherwise. Then face the consequences of this action. Now, this is how you craft a good story, a good cover-up. This is why when you read the official stories on things that sound like nonsense, yep. you get that feeling in your gut that's like, oh, Ooh. go fuck yourself, yep. right? The nature of it, be like, it's not only so far off the mark, but it's like literally... Putting evil where there was only good. You know? God, God, just. Uh, Unsettling, is it? Huh? It's bad enough when you can't thank somebody for doing the right thing, but when they have to eat shit in order for the status quo to be maintained, you know? Shout outs to Snake Eater. They became President Strand's primary security apparatus. And the lead organization under her direct command, wholly devoted to her mission of American Reconstructionism. A new director was subsequently appointed to lead Bridges, an individual known only as Die Hard Man. Now, the funny thing about that cutscene, when you go back to it, is that she's wearing the mask. Yes. Right? And at first I was like, oh, is that some sort of, like don't recognize Amelie Bridget situation mask thing and it's like no no she was still just her but she was wearing the mask explanations none she just gave the mask to him yeah why was she well, why was she it wearing it to begin with place. yeah yeah what's the well, why was she wearing that mask to begin with it's just it's just she just wanted to fucking rock a mask <laughs> I guess good enough no explanation. Don't worry there, there, about there's it. There's no wordplay with masks and cover-ups on this? Shut up, because she's hiding her true nature from you. Shut yeah. up, though. Okay. Shut up, though. Uh, yeah. Again, the idea that global extinction is at the upfront primary con their primary concern is American reconstructionism, reconstructionism. It's a little bit, little bit narrow, little bit narrow. Unless every country had its own extinction entity hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> right. Every country had their own version of the event in a in a localized way. Then sure. Then so be it. We happen to just be watching one of the many. But if the thing that is about to kill humanity only cares about America, it's like, come on. 
How's Canada? Doesn't matter. How's Mexico? There's a wall. We're good. What if there's a wall and everything outside of it is totally normal and it's only <laughs> America experiencing this crazy bullshit? And we're like, you still don't want the imperial system? No. There's a BTs five yards from here. Beyond, oh. beyond the chiral wall that surrounds the American border, life goes on completely normal. Death Stranding is just America. Think about it. You got no proof. Make America great again. United Cities of America, bro. We've moved on from the States. <laughs> We've moved on. All right? All right. I'm on board. Hey, Reggie. Yes, sir. Keep on keeping on. Keep on keeping on. <laughs>